So, today we have a collision. Two objects are colliding. One object is four kilograms. It's moving to the right here and it hits the five kilogram object. The four kilogram object ends up moving at 1.8 meters per second, 30 degrees to the left of its previous course. And the question is, what is the velocity of the other object? To make things simpler here, we're going to say, we're going to call the original object's velocity east. So I'll make a compass rose here. East, north, south, west. And of course, we're going to solve this using momentum. So we have to write down the momentum equation that the total momentum before is equal to the total momentum afterwards. We'll call the 4 kilogram object M1. So M1 V1 plus M2 V2 equals M1 V1 prime plus M2 V2 prime, which sounds complicated, but it's not really very difficult. V2 is zero. The second object is at rest when the collision occurs, so this guy is gone. And now, if I dump in some of my givens, I can come up with an equation in bearing form. M1 is 4 kilograms times V1, which is 2 meters per second east now, is equal to 4 kilograms times 1.8 meters per second, what I'm now going to call east, 30 degrees north. The other object has an unknown velocity but it has a mass of 5 kilograms. And we don't know exactly what direction it's going in, that's the question, that's part of the question, but we do know that it will be east, some degrees south, so I'll call this theta, and I'll say east, theta south. Now I have a vector equation which I can simplify, and I'll get rid of the units just because it's easier for me, and I say 8 east, equals 7.2 east 30 north plus 5v east theta south. Now I have drawn a little triangle and I can see how this is all going to fit together. There's 8 to the east. 7.2 east 30 north plus 5v in an unknown direction. But I've said it was east theta south, so this is theta. And of course I can see from my diagram that if this angle is theta, then so is this angle. So now I can solve this triangle. First of all, I'll find v using the cosine law. 5v squared is equal to 7.2 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 7.2 times 8 times the cosine of 30. Simplifying, rearranging, remembering to square the 5 because it's inside the brackets here, and I eventually will get a velocity of 0 0.80 meters per second. A speed, rather, as I still don't know the actual direction. But that is the hardest part, because now that I know the velocity here, I know that this side of the triangle, which is not 0.8, but 5 times 0.8, which comes out to 4, now I can use a quick sine line. I can say the sine of 30 over 4 is equal to the sine of theta over 7.2. Rearranging for theta, I find that it is the inverse sine of 7.2 times the sine of 30, which I happen to know is a half. Hopefully you do as well. Times a half. 7.2 times a half divided by 4. Grabbing a calculator, 3.6 divided by 4, square inverse sine, I end up with an angle of 64 degrees. Which leads me to say that the velocity, and I guess technically it's velocity of object 2, Technically, it's objects to velocity after the collision, so V2 prime is 0 0.8 meters per second east 64 south. But wait one second. 
question didn't say anything about north, east, south, and west. I just added that to make it easier for myself. So I really got to take I've got to, I've really got to take those bearings out and answer it in reference to the original question. So I'm going to say that v2 prime is equal to 0.8 meters per second, and I'll say it's 94 degrees clockwise. 94 degrees clockwise from from V1 prime. And that should do it.